Hey everyone, it's Lily or Cool Rice Bunnies and today I'm going to be showing you how to make something perfect for the back to school season. This back to school tutorial will be showing you how to make five different paper clip charms. They're perfect for marking your spot in your planner or you can use them as a bookmark. Nonetheless, these are easy to make and perfect if you have some metal paper clips on hand. A complete list of materials will be in the description box so check that out and now it's time to get started. For the loose leaf paper charm, start out with some white clay and roll it out to a thickness like this. Then you want to cut it into a rectangle with your blade until you have something like this. After that, take some blue clay and make a thin coil and cut it into pieces to make four horizontal lines. Then make a vertical line with some pink clay. After that, take a ball tool and make three indents on the side of the paper. Once that's done, add a face and you made your loose leaf paper. To make it a paper clip charm, there are three different ways you can secure your metal paper clip into your polymer clay charm. First, make sure you insert the paper clip with the side that only has one loop and not two. Next, you want to cut a line in the bottom to make an opening and then simply insert the paper clip into your polymer clay charm. And then simply blend the clay together so you close the opening and make sure the paper clip is fully surrounded with clay. For the second method, put TLS into the opening, insert the paper clip, and then wipe away any excess. The liquid clay will bake around the paper clip and make it very secure. For the third method, you need to bake the paper clip charm first, and then when it cools down, just secure the loose paper clip with some super glue. This works well when you squeeze the opening closed before baking. And now you're done, so let's make the cookie paper clip charm. To get started, take some e-crew clay and flatten it onto a sheet of sandpaper. Once you have something that looks like this, take a ball of tin foil and texture the top. Then use a toothbrush to add more texture. Once you finish texturing the top, it should look like this, and then the bottom should be textured from the sandpaper. And after that's done, add a little face. And then you can take some brown clay and cut it into random chunks like this. Once you cut out the chocolate chips, make some indents in the cookie and then place them in. you inserted the chocolate chips, take some chalk pastels and shade it to make it look like it's been baked. Once it's been shaded, you can insert your paper clip and then you're done. To make the pencil paper clip charm, roll out a sheet of yellow clay and then cut off the end so you have something that looks like this. Then do the same with some silver clay and then continue doing this with pink, tan, and black clay. Once you have all the colors put together, it'll look like this, and then you can just take a long blade and begin cutting out the basic pencil shape. Once you've cut it out, you can soften the hard edges with your fingers, and then after that, you can add a clay face. Insert your paper clip, and then you're done. To make the calculator paper clip charm, roll out a color of your choice, and then cut out a rectangle. After that, take some gray or silver clay, roll it into a thin sheet, and then cut out a screen for the calculator. To make the buttons, roll out another sheet of clay and then cut out small squares. I placed four squares on the side for the addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division keys, and then nine other squares for the numbers. You can put as many squares as you want for your buttons since there are more than nine numbers on a calculator. Once you've finished adding the math symbols on with black clay, it'll look like this, and then you can add a face. To make the cupcake paperclip charm, I used a Martha Stewart mold that I purchased at my local craft store. Of course, using a mold is a very basic and easy thing to do, but I just included this design to show you how easy it can be to make a paperclip charm. After you pop them out of the mold, just take some TLS or liquid clay and then attach the two pieces together. 
Once you've done that, add a clay face and then insert your paper clip and you're done. After that, you can bake them in your oven according to the instructions on your clay package. And then once they've cooled off, you can glaze them to make them shiny. So that's it for this back to school tutorial. Comment down below to let me know which design was your favorite. And please like the video if you enjoyed it. You can subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos like this one. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!